So we got a leaking water pump. As you can see, it's leaking. My bag off this. Leaking pretty bad. And I'm finna, finna change that real quick. And then we'll some bolts, in my opinion. First, I'm gonna drain this coolant. I'm gonna take the belt off. Never drained coolant before in here, but yeah, I'm gonna knock it out. You know, I just got some coolant. 16 gallons, 170 bucks. And I got the parts and freight line in the uh, Nissan. So we finna head. Got the water pump. I mean, the thermostat housing cleaning up, and we got the water pump housing cleaned up, ready to go. Put that boy on, and I'm good. And we got the new, yeah, got the new water pump. Uh, yeah, this right one went with OEM. Already cleaned the gasket, and thermostat don't come with the O-ring. So, yeah. the old one, I just replaced it. I mean, the old thermostat might have not been bad, but shit, I done had this truck, what, three years, three and a yeah, half you years? broke it down, might well go on the Water pump and thermostat on. I gotta clean it off, but I can wait till I finish putting the cooling in. $9.99 a bottle. A gallon, so hey, let's get it. So, I got my water pump and my thermostat done. I'm sitting here letting it warm up, trying to bleed the cooling. Got my defrost on, the heat on, and uh, yeah, I don't have any leaks. Everything looks good. So, the only reason I replaced my thermostat because, I mean, I had the system open. And going up hills, it does tend to creep up, but I assume that's what it is. Diesel, but it's better safe than sorry. You know, I'll be heavy a lot. So I went ahead and did that. And another thing, I'll be seeing a lot of guys, they use RTV up under the rubber gasket and on both sides of the rubber gasket, that's unnecessary. That's how stuff get clogged. So I don't use RTV on rubber seal unless it's in the corner or it goes across like a front cover matched to the engine. And I put some silicone right there where it meets. But other than that, I don't use silicone. I make sure I clean it real good, wipe it off, line up the gasket and everything. So we do it. Try to get a load tomorrow and get out of here, man. Next, my pickup tube seal, my front main, front seal, my uh, what else? Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna replace all the rubber seals around the uh the bolts, the oil pan bolts that come with rubber grommets front end seal and then after that I'm doing my old my uh injectors. So I got the little pink in those and I know it's injectors. The fuel pump is brand new. And I got magnets in my tank. They help pick up all the uh metal and stuff like that. I put them on the chain and I clean it. But these freight line cascaded jeans to work on. They like a big a big Honda, you know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't work on Hondas, I didn't work on Mercedes and save money like this. Also it's an 18 freight liner. So my torque specs on the water pump, the score bolts, they all torque for 22 foot pounds. The water pump, 13 millimeter bolts, they torque the 22 foot pounds also. And the pulley, the water pump pulley, it bolts down to 18 foot pounds. Wait till you put the belt back on. You can snug them up with a little power wrench or whatnot. So yeah, easier to torque the 
fully folks down with the belt back. All the tools you need is a T45 for the fully, 13 millimeter for everything else. And if you having troubles getting the plugs off, it's a T, uh, T25 to take the little cover off on the water pump. And other than that, it's easy. Uh, don't use power tools on the uh, on the surface screen. I just use the green, you know, the burgundy Scotch Bright pad. That's it. A razor blade at the most. Cause sometimes the rubber seals are hard to uh, clean up that, you know, what's left over. Other than that, easy job.